Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Now this one's gonna look a little bit different than the others. And in case you haven't been aware, I've had TikTok for quite a while and been making a bunch of videos on there. And now I don't do, you know, the TikTok dances or anything. They're all about origami. And I think they're both entertaining and pretty informational. So I thought, why not share them on YouTube? Um, so this will be a compilation of some of my first TikToks and I hope that I can share more of them with you guys if you like it. So definitely let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey friends, my name is Origami by Boyce and this is my first TikTok. I am a complex, super complex origami designer and I'll be sharing crazy origami like my signature samurai design, uh, which you can see the crease pattern behind it. Hey friends, this is how to make my origami samurai. First, you just gotta crease a grid then you're going to take the crease pattern, fold all the creases into it, and then it magically turns into the base. From the base, all we got to do is shape it into the finished model. Super Complex Origami 101. Ha, just kidding, but if you guys are interested, I made a tutorial for this model, so go check it out on my YouTube. Hey friends, just wanted to share how I designed my origami. So first, I break it into parts, and I create the crease patterns for the small parts, I then put it all together into a large one and start testing it out on a big sheet of paper. Sometimes this works, sometimes I have to make adjustments, but in this case, I decided to fold the full model into the paper, and from there I can kind of see the proportions and the layout, and once it's all good, I can just finish up the model and shape it, and we're good to go. So you'll see me just finishing it up and displaying the model. I hope you guys enjoy. This was a complex car model, which is pretty difficult for origami and you don't see it very often. So it was a great design challenge for me. Let me know what you think and what you wanna see next. This is the Ryujin 3.5, designed by Satoshi Kermia, one of the most complex designs ever made in origami from a single sheet of paper. There are 1,500 individual scales, and yes, one sheet of paper. This is my origami anglerfish, and today I'm going to teach you guys about wet folding. Using much thicker paper, you spray the paper with water, and while it's wet, you fold the model. Once it dries, it becomes super strong and holds its shape really well. This makes nice rounded models that look awesome. The best compliment I get is when people think the origami is not one sheet of paper. It's hard to make step-by-step -step instructions for these models, so designers use crease patterns which show all the folds, kind of like a map. They're made of mountain folds which face away from you and valley folds which face towards you. Some of y'all have been asking me for origami time lapse, so here we go with my anglerfish design. While you watch, I'll tell you about Washi Deluxe, the paper I'm using. It's a combination of a Japanese paper made from natural fibers, making it strong with a metallized foil layer. This foil layer allows it to be folded and shaped much easier than just a regular paper, and it gives a nice finish at the end. You might notice the little texture, and I just love it. Today's model is Totoro. This is for all the Miyazaki fans. And while this looks simple, it's actually a complex model. This is because of the natural color change using both sides to get two colors. And that's what makes it complex, especially when it's in the middle. But hey, it's cute. Merry Christmas, everyone. I got red and green dragons to celebrate. They are made out of double tissue paper. Yes, tissue paper, the same stuff you use in gifts. It's really thin and cheap, so it's great for complex models, but how's it strong? Well, if you use methyl cellulose, it actually strengthens and treats the paper. Today's model is one of my craziest designs, my Dragon Slayer. It's a dragon knight with the spirit of a dragon coming out of the back. So this is an asymmetrical design, and what that means is there's different proportions along the paper, so I can get two different figures. Here I'm unfolding uh, a test model I made, so you can kind of see that the head comes from one corner and then the rest of the figure wraps around that structure. Pretty wild, pretty wacky.